Good afternoon, everyone. How's everybody doing today? I am on my last video for today. I thought I would come in and share with you my haul from, or my purchases from BH Cosmetics. I purchased these probably a week ago or maybe a week and a half ago and um, I've just been waiting for the right time to do this video because I tend to um, wait for a time when I can have some quiet around me before I do them. Uh, if you know, if you've ordered from BH Cosmetics, you know that their packaging is just a regular box from the USPS service. And then they send you a little card. You need to give them their, your feedback. So that's what that looks like. And my order, I actually was just going in, I think I ordered these for some kind of holiday. What holiday did we just have? Memorial Day. There, um, they had a sale going, so I decided to, to place an order. So I ordered from them. I really only wanted some brushes, some blending brushes. And of course you just never, you're gonna place an order, you know, you may as well get what you want so that you don't have shipping twice. And sometimes you end up with no shipping because of the amount that you purchase. So I ordered two brushes from them. And they come like this. And then they come in a baggie. And this one is... I guess that's the number. 31. Brush number 31. It's a kind of a large um, I don't know shadow brush I guess you know I use my brushes for all kinds of things but this is more like you know doing your eyes like here only a larger version of it um, you can also use it for blending I'd have to go on the site to actually see you know what they recommend it to be used for and then I, I love this brush right here. I don't think I could ever have enough of them, but it's their blending brush. And it's number 12. And I love it for just blending all, all over to kind of make sure that there's no lines in between your different shadows, you know, between your highlight on your eye, under the brow and your um, crease and then your your lid when you use this brush it just flawlessly blends it all together so that's actually what I wanted and I should have just ordered two of these because really that's all I need um, I shared with you guys when I purchased these these brushes which are the um, RT dupes and I have them in all different sizes and I love these brushes to put my foundation on so this is what I use because it makes it easier to go around you know and I don't use this particular big one but I'm just showing you this one but I have a smaller size that I use for my foundation and it just effortlessly effortlessly blends everything together on my face so that's what I use that um, and then I use these brushes for my eyeshadows and stuff. But I have more than enough brushes to last me for two lifetimes, to be honest with you. So I really don't need any more. And then I saw that they had this thing called Quick Change. Um, and it is for cleaning your brushes in between putting on your eyeshadow. So, for instance, if you're using one brush that you like, like I just said, and you want to use that same brush for another application, oh, this 
boxes. They're so tight. It's like, do you not want me to get in them? Okay. So I ordered these, and I ordered two of them. Um, they weren't very expensive, I know that. I just don't know the exact price of them. Let's see if I have that here. Okay. So these brushes, this one, is called a flat blending brush. And then this one is just called the blending brush. So they're both for blending, only one is flat. Of course, you know you can use your brushes for anything, so it doesn't matter. And this quick change brush cleaner. Oh, by the way, the brushes were um, $3.50 for the blending and the flat one was four. And then the quick change brush cleaner was $8 each and I bought two of them. And they, it's just a sponge in there. I don't even feel anything coming out. So I guess you just put whatever cleaning stuff you want in there. So basically, it's just a sponge in a container. Hmm. Interesting. So you, you, I would think that you would put your brush cleaning. Um, liquid in this and then you have the sponge and you just clean it like that and then um, you can go to your next one because it doesn't uh, what do they call it it your brush doesn't stay wet is what they said so let me see what else it says on this packaging swipe powder eyeshadow brush blush brushes over the special dry sponge to remove color residue. Now bristles are clean and ready to dip into another shade. Oh, okay, so you don't even need any liquid in it. It's some kind of special sponge that's in here that will take it off your brush and then when you dip it into your nut other color, then your brush is clean. So I'm gonna try it and see if it works. I probably should have only purchased one and see if it works before I purchase two. But $8, you know, if that doesn't work, then you can use it to do quick cleaning, you know, like when you use your brushes, like in the morning, you can clean them off and then um, put them to dry and use them again the next day without doing your regular wash that you would on a weekly basis. So yeah, we'll try that and I'll, I will get back to you guys on those. And then I got um, two of their matte lipsticks again, because unfortunately I gave away mine to my niece, so I didn't really get to use them. And this one is in the color I remember correctly, I had the same problem last time I had these. Reading what they are, and I still can't tell you what colors these are. Because I cannot read these small writings, unfortunately. But let me swatch it for you. That is... no color on here but that's what this one looks like and it's kind of like a brown nude right here I hope you can see that I'm a little further away than I was in my other videos because I had to change my battery and I apparently didn't get it back in the same spot and then the purple which is Yeah, they really need to do better. So you can see, I think it's royal something, I think. But I can't see that 
I just can't see the names of them. But that's what it looks like. Let me put that right next to it. This is just a beautiful purplish. Um, I'm going to work on trying to find a way to wear these lipsticks, even if it's just for a little bit. But that's the purple. The first one is the purple. And then I got two lipsticks. And hopefully I can read the name on those. This one is Seduction. I may have already bought, bought this lipstick. I just can't find it. Seduction is also a purple, which almost matches one of the color pops. But right there at the top is Seduction. And it looks like that. Okay, no, that's not ColourPop. That's the, um, the bottom one is the, um, the one from Sephora, the Bite Lipstick. The Bite Lipstick is here, and this one is BH Cosmetics. So they're basically the same color, guys. They're basically the same color. Um, so I guess you could say that for this, the one from, uh, that I did from Sephora, which is my last video, um, it was a $26 lipstick and BH Cosmetics, it was, uh, I believe $8, 850, 850 lipstick and they're the same exact color. And then we have, and I don't know about you guys, but do you find that you go out and you purchase something and then you can go out a week or two later and you, you're drawn to almost the exact same product, if not same color, like nail polishes, lipsticks, powders, blushes. It's like our mind just holds on to that whatever color you had before, you know? This one is called Adore Me. And it's like a fuchsia. That's Adore Me. And the color is right there at the top. That pink color. That's Adore Me. So that is my purchase from BH Cosmetics. Um, I don't know when again I will be making any purchases as far as uh, lipsticks and um, brows and stuff. Right now I am completely stocked for quite a while to come. So unless something special comes out on the market, you will not be seeing a foundation or a makeup haul. Um, I don't need blushes, I don't need eyeshadows, I don't need foundation, I don't need lipstick. The only things that I will be purchasing is, as far as makeup goes is something like mascara because you know you, you have to throw those out after a certain period of time. Lipsticks too, but I have enough where I can in and out without worrying about having something spoil on me. Um, what else? Yeah, so it's not that I won't be shopping anymore. I just will not be shopping for these particular items. Lipsticks, lip pencils, um, eyebrows products, eyeshadows. I have more than sufficient. So those will not be purchased for quite some time to come. Um, not to say I won't be shopping for other things. As a matter of fact, I have something coming soon, but it has nothing to do with beauty products. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> just want you guys to know no more shopping definitely cutting it off <laughs> as far as beauty products go um, the only the last thing I have to share with you that I got in I don't know I don't think this was even BH cosmetics I think this was from a Sephora haul is a sample of a night serum TLC Framboos and that's what that looks like so that is it guys um, got lots of samples from Sephora when I shopped um, as far as perfumes and stuff we have Dulce and we have Jador and you know so I'm just storing those away because I don't use a lot of perfumes and stuff I have my favorites and that's what I use so yeah but that is it guys that is all I have for you um, unfortunately I will be inundating you with videos in the next couple of weeks because I finally got them all done so you will be seeing them um, actually this is probably going to be one of the last ones my my, uh, <laughs> my video just my camera just turned off so I was saying this is actually going to be um, one of the last videos because I finally got them all done but anyway thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy schedules to view my videos I truly 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 do appreciate it and I hope that you have enjoyed um, the hauls that I have uh, and the videos that I am bringing to you um, I love making videos and I truly appreciate people taking the time out of their days to watch my videos and to comment and I know I'm slow at responding to comment because I don't type so well sitting on my bed and as you know that is where I do everything nowadays so sometimes it's hard for me to sit down and get responses to everyone's comments but please know that I do read every one of your comments and I try to hit um, the like on it to let you know that I have read your comments so um, just bear with me guys I'm trying to get myself on a more of a structured day so that I have time to do everything I have lots going on in my life lots going on in my family and nothing has changed because I'm closer they still call me and talk to me about everything so sometimes I don't know where my day goes you know because I'm problem solving so to speak however not to make it an excuse I do appreciate your taking the time to leave a comment on my video and I do read all your comments and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to view my videos to like my videos and to share my videos and with that being said please don't forget to thumbs up my videos and I will talk to you guys in my next one love y'all bye